post-COVID, when all the students were back at school, um, we had an increase in incidents of sort of safeguarding and well-being, and we were concerned that the instances that we were looking at were only the tip of the iceberg. So, by having a more robust system in place, we were able to make sure we had a better picture of what was going on and be able to follow up all the safeguarding issues and all of the well-being issues in school. Safeguarding is the most important thing in our school, uh, making sure pupils um, are all safe, um, that there's nothing more important at school. Um, and we feel that since we've used Pulse, um, we having more robust systems mean that we can guarantee that children's safeguarding is a priority and we know what's going on and have a better picture of what's going on because of the technology that we use. Before Pulse, we had a good safeguarding culture. We had a safeguarding review that our map ran recently, um, and it came out that you know safeguarding was a priority in our school, and we were good at it. I think this has made it even better. Um, and like I said earlier, it just means that children can't slip through the net. Staff have been overwhelmingly positive about it. It's one of the most positive staff meetings that I've led here where everybody realised that this was a good thing. Everyone realised it would make a difference. There hasn't been any moans or grumbles. The staff see why it's a good thing to introduce to the school um, and they've been absolutely fully behind what we've done. Myself and Katie, who's our pastoral manager at school and one part of the safeguarding team, uh, we led the staff meeting at the start and we explained um, why we were using Smoothwall um, and um, the difference that we thought it would make and, and why we've gone for it. Um, and then we handed over to the team from Smoothwall and they uh, gave a demonstration of how it worked and opened um, up questions. And it was a really positive staff meeting where staff were you know, in a short space of time, in less than an hour, staff were equipped to make sure that they knew how to introduce this to the students and how they could use it to monitor um, trends and safeguarding and well-being. In terms of impact, it looks like we have an increased number of safeguarding issues in the school. I don't think we do have an increased number in safeguarding issues. I think we're just now seeing the proper picture and the clearer picture of what's happening. Um, so we're able to um, see what the issues are. We're able to act on them virtually immediately. We're able to support our students and we're able to look at trends. Um, so I just think in general, our school's safeguarding systems are a lot tighter than they've ever been thanks to this. My advice to other leaders would be to go for it and um, there's absolutely no reason not to do it because if it's making your safeguarding systems a lot tighter and more robust then why wouldn't you go for it? Um, my sort of other advice would be to make sure that you've got everything all set up in place and you've got the IT sorted out so there's no teething problems there. And if I was to go back and do this again from the very beginning, I would probably launch it to the students as a whole school thing in an assembly rather than using the form tutors to do it. I'd make it, I'd speak to the whole school at the same time in assembly and also give more communication out to the parents so they know what's going on again. I'd say to other executive heads or heads that this isn't about Ofsted, um, this is about making sure your children are safe and listen to but if you were in an Ofsted window I think the information and the data and the trends you can pick up from the technology um, shows that you are absolutely on top of safeguarding in your school absolutely on top of well-being um, and to be able to show that really easily um, and to show the trends to show uh, case studies of how you've supported students um, it's an absolute no-brainer in terms of Ofsted as well Thank you.